want to say before we begin, these are all Biden trials. This is done as election interference. Everybody knows it. I'm here instead of being able to be in Pennsylvania and Georgia and lots of other places campaigning. Pennsylvania, and we hope the people get out there and vote. It's important to vote to let them know that we're coming on November 5th. We're coming big. Uh, today is uh, preliminary, but still, it's uh, very important. And maybe they'll think also about a very good person who's running for the Senate in Pennsylvania, Dave McCormick, and he's doing a good job. He's working very hard, successful man, wants to put his success to the country. He'll be a very good senator. So. Hopefully, they'll be behind Dave and get out there and vote today. So, uh, Pennsylvania, get out and vote. What's going on at the college level and the colleges, Columbia, NYU, and others, is uh, a disgrace. And it's a, it's really on Biden. He has the wrong signal. He's got the wrong tone. He's got the wrong words. He doesn't know who he's backing. And it's a mess. And if this were me, He'd be after me, he'd be after me so much, but they're trying to give him a pass. But what's going on is a disgrace to our country. And it's all Biden's fault, and everybody knows it. He's got no message, he's got no compassion, he doesn't know what he's doing. He can't put two sentences together, frankly. He is the worst president in the history of our country. And again, what's going on is a disgrace. Now, it's interesting outside. For great Americans, people that want to come down and they want to protest at the court and they want to protest peacefully, we have more police presence here than anyone's ever seen. For blocks, you can't get near this courthouse. And yet you have nobody up at a college where you have very radical people wanting to rip the colleges down, the universities down. And that's a shame. But it all starts with Joe Biden. The signals he puts out are so bad. And I can tell you, he's no friend of Israel, that's for sure. And he's no friend of the Arab world, the world either. You take a look at what he said. He's no friend of, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to take like a middle ground, and oftentimes that doesn't work, but it's certainly not working here. But what he's done to Israel is abandon them. And he's trying to be as nice as he can to the other side. Call it the Arab world, but that's not working either because they get him, and he's an incompetent man. A peace will never happen with a guy like this. We have a gag order, which to me is totally unconstitutional. I'm not allowed to talk, but people are allowed to talk about me. It seems to me that former President Trump is pretty lucky. Um, a judge in a criminal case, um, when looking at contempt of court, has a, a, a significant amount of discretion about what the sanctions could be for violating a court order. And those sanctions include imprisonment. Um, it is absolutely common in courthouses around the country for judges when they use the, their contempt power um, to hold people in contempt of court and they face jail time. Um, there are a lot, there's a range of sanctions. The court could um, tell him not to use the internet altogether. The court could um, tell him that he now needs to wear an ankle monitor. Um, there's all sorts of ways that a judge can try to um, control the conduct of a person who is facing criminal charges um, and accused of a crime. And it seems to me that the $10,000 fine is a gift um, to former President Trump, especially as he's someone who has not even been paying his own legal bills. It appears to me that Trump is the beneficiary of um, any politics that might be at play. And I think those politics are that he is a wealthy person with a lot of power. Um, and that's why both the prosecutors haven't asked for um, more serious sanctions like imprisonment or um, a heftier fine, something that might actually impact his behavior. Um, I don't think um, there's any um, malice directed at 
Judge, it, former President uh, Trump, it, it appears to me that the judge just really wants to keep the witnesses safe, keep the jurors safe, keep the prosecutor safe, and keep his own family safe. Uh, former President Trump has millions of social media followers, and we have seen already that they have at times taken matters into their own hands. We've seen that on January 6th. We saw that in the um, the threats um, and racial slurs hurled at the judge in the DC federal case, um, Judge uh, Chutkin. And so I, I can only imagine that the that the judge is just somewhat cowed by the the accused person's power. I was a defense attorney for a number of years um, before I started teaching here at Georgetown. And I can tell you that I'm sure the lawyers are beside themselves. Um, the last thing that, that I can imagine they would want to deal with while they're in the middle of trial is having to respond to these accusations, um, which, you know, it appears, I, I can't prejudge this, but it appears that Trump may have brought on himself um, based on a lack of self-control. And so I'm sure it's the last thing his lawyers want to be addressing. They'd rather focus on the trial. It also seems that um, the defense team has angered the judge, which is not where you want to be on the second day of trial. It's rare to see any powerful people held to account in our legal system and particularly in our criminal legal system. But a former president, I mean, that's just certainly on a, another level. So what's at stake, I think, is anyone's guess. But for the average person, they could be absolutely looking at having their conditions of release revoked. When a court orders someone to do something pre-trial, that's a condition of their release. And when they violate that order, the court absolutely has the power to revoke those conditions of release, meaning sending the person to jail for um, the pendency of the case. The other sanction um, is less direct, which is in the event of a conviction, this judge is the judge that would have to sentence former President Trump. And if he doesn't believe that the the, the person accused of the crime, the person who's been found guilty of the crime can follow directions and order. That's someone who's no longer a, a good candidate for probation. That's someone who a judge might think, you know, what's appropriate is jail time or prison time.